The sunrise and the sunset shots are really nice for the transitions, just to give you sort of a story. I don't usually decide in advance. I usually try to let the location show me what's there. If it's a night where half the night is in thunderstorms and then the other half becomes these incredibly clear stars, that's a bit of a story. It looked like it was bleak, and then suddenly the clouds parted and revealed the most amazing skies imaginable. I did one in Toronto during the big ice storm. No one was out and just had these incredible frozen landscapes. One of my favorite time lapses was in Death Valley. It was freezing cold, there was nobody there. Felt like you were on Mars, but when the sky parted and the stars came out, it was like nothing I've ever seen before. I really just try to take risks with the time lapses and, and do crazy, sorry, do crazy stuff because there's nothing to lose.